x equals 3t and y equals 12t cubed minus t. And we need to find these things here. Let's have a go at this one then. So first, let's get dx dt and dy dt. So dx dt, just differentiate. That differentiates to 3. dy dt, just normal differentiation, 36t squared. 3 comes down. t goes to 1. So uh, dy dx then will equal dy dt divided by dx dt. 36 uh, t squared minus 1. That's dy dt divided by dx dt, which is 3. Run the 3 through, split up the fraction. So 36 over 3 is 12. And then the 1 over 3 with the minus, minus a third. So that equals 0. Um, you get 12 t squared equals a third. Divide by 12, we'll move the 12 from times on one side to divide on the other. t squared equals 1 over 36. Square root both sides, t is equal to plus or minus 1 over 6 when you square root. So, is it max or min? Well, let's have a little look at this. So, t equals a... So, let's have a look at... Um, well, this is the turning points when dy dx is naught. So, let's get those coordinates. So here, x, y coordinates then. These are the turning points is equal to uh, 3t uh, and 12t cubed minus t. So that's equal to then. Now we need to put in the values. t is a sixth and minus one sixth into here. So let's see what we get. They put in the plus a 6, 3 over 6 is a half. And then we need the 12t cubed minus t when t is a 6. Let's just tap that in a calculator. So we need 12 uh, times t cubed, which is 1 sixth power cubed. So there's, your, there's our 12t cubed minus t, which is 1 sixth. Close bracket equals minus 1 ninth. And then that was when t was equal to 1 sixth. And the other value we need to put in is minus 6. When we put that in here, we get minus a half. And put in the value here for minus 1 6. So we just need to run along, back along the calculator and put a minus in here. Yeah? Let's just do that then. Nice and easy. Minus. And you get, we get a ninth. So that's 1 ninth. And that was when... Uh, t was equal to minus 1, 6. So here's our turning points. We just need to look at them now to see whether they're max or mins. And we can do that when we look at the slope of dy dx, can't we? So just under a sixth, either side of a sixth, and either side of minus 1, 6. So let's have a look at that. So now uh, dy dx, and let's have a little look at this. This is equal to this value here. 12t squared minus one third equals. Now um, I'm going to look at it either side. I'm going to look at t equals one sixth, right? But I'm going to look at t just under one sixth and t just over one sixth. So that's what I mean when I put it in quote marks. So let's have a look at the slope either side then. So when it's less than a sixth, it was zero at a sixth. So when it's less than a sixth, this number will be smaller. And this one is bigger, so we'll get negative. So it's negative. When t becomes bigger than a sixth, this number is bigger. So it becomes positive, doesn't it? So that was true there. And then when we look at um, t less than minus one sixth, let's have a look at that one. And t greater than minus one sixth. So let's have a look at that one. So again, it's going to be zero at a minus one sixth, but if it's less than minus one sixth, when you square it, you'll get a bigger number than what you had before at one sixth. So this will become positive. And here, when t is greater than, just a little bit bigger than minus one sixth, it's a smaller negative number, isn't it? So this becomes smaller positive, so we get negative.
So that's what we have then, as t varies either side of these values at the turning point. Now the only other thing to bear in mind is what x equals. So we need to see how x varies. x is equal to 3t. So as t varies from less than 1 sixth to greater than 1 sixth, x also goes um, since x equals 3t. Right? On the first value, x increases as t increases. Agreed? So as you increase t um, around this route from just underneath a sixth to just over a sixth, um, x increases in value. So we have, so clearly the dy dx then on the left x coordinate will be negative and dy dx is positive, so that's a min, isn't it? So we have a min, a minimum. Now also, let's have a look at the other one. Uh, x equals 3t. As x increases, now either side of minus 1 sixth, as x increases, um, this dy dx, uh, as x increases, x is 3t as we said, so we can see that 3 times a number that increases is also a number that increases. So that we can read this from left to right then. This is in the correct orientation or the way around. So it's positive first, slope, and then it's negative, so it's a max. There we go. So this coordinate here, when t was minus a 6, is a max. And this coordinate up here, which I'll just move it up slightly, uh, we just said down here that this is a min a min. So we've got our coordinates. Now let's have a look at that max a minute. Half and minus a half then. And we think it's a ninth. These coordinates are our turning points. Here's our parametric equation. Just going to type that in. Just have a little look at it. In our little widget. Here it is here. So we want x equals 3t. So I'll put that in here. Uh, 3t. And yt is 12t cubed, wasn't it? Minus t. And we're interested in the turning points at um, a sixth and minus one sixth, aren't we? So what I'm going to do is do a fifth. So from minus 0 0.2, say, to 0 0.2, because that should cover both. 0 0.2. We should just see a nice good plot then of the turning points. There we go. There they are there. You can see them um, in the actual plot here at minus one fifth and that's a ninth yeah so that looks good and then one fifth and that was minus one ninth so that's good now if you plot this from a bigger range you'll see that these disappear because of the scaling factors involved so if we do t from minus 10 say just have a little look at it on a broader range to 10 you'll see that the scale just makes us not be able to visualize the turning points oh um Oh, I've got a double minus here, sorry. Let's have a go at that. Minus 10 to 10. Let's read it correctly. Here's our turning points. We can't see them because they're so, uh, the scale's not appropriate, really, because it shoots off to infinity here and here. Okay, good.